The food scientists know exactly how what to do with processed food. They want you to crave these foods. Many people today are victims and they don't realize what they have to do and why they've been victimized. Just look at what's going on in this country. Obesity is out of control. I don't know too many people that are having a problem with obesity that don't want to change. They're victims. They need help to change. They want to change, but the, the, the cravings are overwhelming because the impact it's having on the hypothalamus gland. It's, it's, it's almost as strong as the, the natural hunger drive or your sex drive. Almost the same thing. So we really have to try to um, get this message out there and help, help people address this. And there are ways to do this. There are ways to address it. Of course, some of the, no matter what we do, sometimes we have this emotional, um, psychological need to medicate ourselves with food. It, it gives us comfort. The feeling, when you eat heavy, concentrated foods, you get, your stomach gets full to the point where you're going to go to sleep. That's, you're really medicating yourself. You know it's going to do that. You know it's going to put you to sleep. And yet people do it day in and day out. Maybe that person is stressed out, involved in a bad relationship, so they want to go to sleep. They want to medicate themselves that way. Other people, they stimulate themselves. You know, they're drinking more coffee, more soda, more things that have caffeine, theobromine, whatever it is in there that's going to give you this, you know, this low-level euphoria in there. doesn't mean it's good for you.